My research interest is in general mobile communications, 4G, 5G technologies, and in general how mobile phones work. Um, and today I'm going to share with you my research on cognitive radio. Cognitive radios refers to the mobile radios which has intelligence to share spectrum efficiently. Spectrum refers to the full range of operating frequencies in the electromagnetic radiation. In communications engineering, we know that simultaneous communications can take place if they occur on a different frequency channels because they can be separated by filters. Spectrum allocations today is mostly done by auctions. So basically, um, spectrum resources are owned by the government. So uh, for certain services, for instance, um, TV broadcasts, radio broadcasts, or even 4G, 5G technologies, um, the government need to release a certain portion of spectrum for these services and let these companies who have that interest to pay a price to own the spectrum for providing their services. Well, spectrum allocation based on auctions has its own limitation. For example, today what we know is um, there are scenarios where we have a lot of spectrums which are underutilized for a certain place at a certain time. And we also have another extreme where, for instance, a concert or football stadium where a lot of users are so excited to get their photos uploaded on Facebook, but they cannot get into the surface. The root of this problem is the rigidity of the spectrum allocation. So ideally, this problem can be addressed if we can introduce intelligence to the mobile radios. And that's where my research fits in. So my research addressed this problem by introducing intelligence to the mobile radios. The key actually is to allow the mobile radios to sense the uh, spectrum on the fly and then interact with other users so that they can negotiate and reach you know, the decision where they can agree a certain portion of the spectrum for um, accessing the spectrum. The key to address this problem is the intelligence in the mobile radios. Going back to the example of a concert, so each users have their mobile phone. If there is intelligence introduced or in embedded in the devices, you know the device when they try to access the spectrum, access the 4G uh, or 5G service, they can actually sense the spectrum and interact with other mobile phones without you noticing it. And then the outcome would be brilliant because everybody can get access of the spectrum without causing too much interference. The results is general, so I believe. Um, the results can be used, for instance, for 4G, 5G um, service providers because if the time is right and then the mobile phones have the uh, complexity, have the intelligence to do that, and then obviously in my examples of a concert, that can be used. But I think the results can have also a more profound um, impact um, to the spectrum allocation policies by uh, spectrum uh, reg uh, regulatory bodies because if they can realize that we can introduce intelligence to the mobile radios, then um, a possibility is that they can actually release certain portion of the spectrum and make it open access because the users can then take this spectrum and then utilize it without causing any problems.